settings where we're only there because our spouse is a cousin, is a this or that, and we end up at the wedding, and we don't know anybody there, right? We, we barely know one person at our own table. And then it comes time for the dance, and everybody gets up and starts dancing. So of course you get up and you start dancing with them. But how much simcha are you really feeling? You know, not, not, not necessarily so much. There are people on the very high madrega that simchas chasim v'kawa is uh, something that they, that they really appreciate in every chasim v'kawa, even if they have no relationship to, to them whatsoever, it fills them with joy. There are people, I've, I've met people on that madrega. But your average person is not on that madrega. But we're all dancing anyways. So that singing and dancing, it's a way of relating, but it's not, it's not, it's not guaranteed to be sincere. But to cry, to shed a tear, there's no faking tears. You can't fake a tear. That's, that is something that has to come from, from a real place. And on Tisha B'Av, to, to connect to Hashem in that way has to, it requires a very, very deep level in that relationship. And Tisha B'Av is not just about us. Kodesh Baruch Hu is also bitzar. Kodesh Baruch Hu is also in pain. And when we are in exile, Kodesh Baruch Hu, the Shechina is also experiencing an exile. And it's very painful for Hashem as well. Much more painful than it is for us in reality. And He wants us to reunite in that, in that way that we're meant to be in Yerushalayim with the Beis HaMikdash as much or more so than we are, and than we. And to share that pain with with HaKadosh Baruch Hu is a, a very, very deep way of connecting to Hashem and to relating to Hashem. The challenge is, how do we do it? It's a, it's a very, very, perhaps the hardest day of the year, and one of the hardest avodas is to do. Because how are we supposed to feel bad, and how are we supposed to appreciate having lost something that we never knew, something that we never experienced, something that our parents never experienced, and our grandparents never experienced? None of them ever experience the Beis HaMikdash and Yerushalayim. So we can, we can read and read, but it's not, it's not something that we experience ever. And it's a, it's a challenge, a tremendous challenge. And for women and for mothers, it's that much more so of a challenge. You're spending your day taking care of children who are not, they, they have no, they're, they're not on an age of maturity to have any concept at all of what's going on. And to be busy with that, and then at the same time, to be able to, to be emotionally in a different place of Avelos is a tremendous challenge. So what can we do? How are we going to approach this? So the first thing is, don't beat yourself up. It's a God of who knows how hard it is, and he doesn't expect from you anything more than what you are capable of. That being said, he does expect what you are capable of. So we do want to make our effort to seize those quiet moments. Uh, tish above night when it's just getting started and the kids are already in bed or towards the end of the day Tish above ends very late and uh, the kids are already in bed you have that quiet moment to seize those quiet moments and to try to jump into the Tish above mood as much as you can and it shouldn't be a regular Sunday it's you have to take care of your kids and if they're not on a if, they don't, if they're not on a level to appreciate what Tisha B'Av is, then you shouldn't be really um, trying to be mechanic for them Tisha B'Av yet. But, but for it to be a different day, it's, a, it's not your average Sunday. You know? We're not just going to go to uh, jumping jacks like we did uh, two Sundays ago. It's gonna, it, this is a different day. It's, it's with a different tone and a different mood that even with, with taking care of your kids in the way that they need, is appropriate for a Tisha B'Av. That's, that's an important thing. And the, the last thing that, one, one more idea that this is not for everyone, but it's something, something to consider, is to, to take what you, your own experience during the day of taking care of your children and use that to tap into Tisha B'Av and to kind of connect to Hashem in a way of here I am taking care of my children 
and then to turn to Hashem and say, not necessarily in a Shimon Esrei, you know, just while you're spreading the peanut butter, we are all your children, you know, bring us back home, take care of us, to, to tap into Tisha B'Av in that way, if that's, if that's something that, that speaks to you. And one, one final suggestion um, that I think is something that everyone can utilize in some way, and I have, I have used this myself, and if I found it to be a very powerful tool, and that is to start, start at home and branch out. Start with, with something personal, and then use that to, as a conduit to open yourself up to the broader um, Tisha B'Av mood and the broader Tisha B'Av Avoda. And what I mean by that is that we all have things in our life that aren't working right. It's, it could be in our personal lives. It could be something uh, uh, that's going on in our, in our immediate family, a very close friend. But we all have painful, difficult elements that we are exposed to. There's no question that everyone in this room has some, some difficulty that, that they have had to deal with, are currently dealing with, either directly or within your immediate circle. And everything that is not working the way it should is connected to Tisha B'Av because when the goals will be over and when Hashem will redeem us and bring us back to Yushalayim and the Beis HaMikdash or the Mashiach that should come soon, it'll all come to an end. Just as at Har Sinai, all the sick were healed and all the blind could see, that is what's going to happen. Be Musa Mashiach, on the end of days, all the sick will be healed and all the blind will, see, will be able to see and everything that's not working will start to work the way it's supposed to. So in that way, everything, every pain and every difficulty is connected to Tisha B'Av. And we see this in the keynotes. We go through all the tragedies of history because they're all connected to the fact that we are in Golos and that we're not in the place where we're supposed to be, where we have that level of divine protection and guidance that uh, allows for the utopian life that, that, we, that we would love. So if we start with something, if we start at home, we start with something personal, something that, that we do feel the, the pain of, and we start there, that can be a powerful tool to open us up and to open up our heart and to be able con to connect to the, the broader avelos of the day and to be misavo al Yushalayim as, as we are meant to do. And uh, with that, uh, my, my bracha is that we should uh, achieve our, our goal of, of doing this avodah properly and being this ava yushalayim, and then we will all be zocha to that bracha of chazal to, that we will see the return to yushalayim with tremendous joy and simple. Thank you all. Can I just say something? That